Hey Stingers, welcome back here to another unboxing video. Uh, so I'm in the other room, <laughs> you're not going to see much at this point in time because the shelving behind me just has nothing on it and a lot of bits need to be done over there and over there and over there and over there and up there. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a Stanley knife and let's get pretty much straight into it, eh? Yeah, let's get this open. There we go. Use paper. Oh, oh, hello, beautifuls. How are we doing? <laughs> there we go. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, you're cutie. Someone with you? Oh, you got a couple friends? Yeah, nice. Oh, got a bigger mama. Oh, you know what? I better tell you in case. Uh, I, I can't pronounce the scientific name, so you guys can read that down the bottom. Uh, but we could basically have giant burrowing cockroaches here. These guys are huge, and they're, and they're actually classed as one of the largest. Well, actually, I think they are the largest in weight ratio for roaches in the world. Uh, a full-grown giant burrowing cockroach, I think, gets up to about 40 grams. So that's it's pretty heavy for a roach. <laughs> so if I hopefully I've got a nice big girl or big boy in here that we can show you after. Sweetheart, there you go. There she is. Yeah, a couple of little ones. Couple more little ones? No, no, a couple of subbies. I always find it funny how their their poop is the same uh, shape as them. Now it's just a little a little weird, but but it is. Okay, so we've got a couple more adults. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we'll put you somewhere soon. Now you're upside down. You'll be okay. You'll be alright. Just for a couple of minutes. Alright, well, they're out now. I don't think there's any others. Nope. Put that paper back. <laughs> I absolutely love these guys. They're just, they're just awesome. Alright. There it goes over there. Over there. I'll put that up there. I might need to raise this camera a little bit, hey? There we go. Okay, can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to end up uh, moving these cameras around over the next few videos, trying to work out good angles. Um, like this room is basically double the size as my incubator room, but this space, yeah, it's just... It's just <laughs> I'm no cameraman. I, I I don't know positions, areas very well. I've got a cousin and I've got a mate um, that we I've been wanting to get around, but due to you know the obvious, uh, they can't. But it'll be nice. You know, I might even get them to hold the camera for me while I'm recording. <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, let's get these absolutely adorable little monsters out. Uh, wait, I should probably grab something. Put the rubbish in. Okay. Hello. It's alright. There you go. Yeah. Here we go. Not fully grown, but pretty close. <laughs> I love them. They're durable. They're so gentle. Yes, they are very spiky. With their, their <clears throat> yes, their legs are very spiky, but you know they are just gentle. And that's only many. That's why they're such good diggers as well. Like I've seen these guys just make a burrow in minutes, seconds, depending on how big their enclosure is. I can't tell if they're still focusing. That's the, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Extremely clean. I will have to check them in case they have mites. Sometimes they do carry mites. Now you can tell he's a male uh, for, couple, for the main reason of his head. As you can see here, he has a big scoop right there. Now there's going to be people that know more information about these guys than me. Um, but yeah, that's the main scoop. And I'll, 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 put him, I'll put him next to a female a little later. So you guys can uh, see the difference, but that's one of the main obvious tells. 
There's probably others, um, and I will have to look at that myself. Now you can handle them, but I wouldn't suggest doing it more than uh, once every one to two days, maybe for a very short term. And that's only if they're outside of their burrow. If they're inside of their burrow, uh, you're going to want to just leave them. Otherwise, you're going to stress them out, and stressing these insects out can cause a, a fatal reaction in the end. Um, but they're, they're usually most of the time they're pretty chilled. So as long as you're not you know, doing anything to bug them, um, yeah, pun intended, okay, yeah, <laughs> then they'll be fine. But you can house uh, males and females together long term. They will mate together and house together and raise those and raise the young pretty much until they have left the burrow, uh, which is pretty astounding actually because a lot of them, you know, little critters don't look after the youngs, but uh, you know, the giant barren cockroach does. But let's get these. Let's get the rest out. Here we go. Here we go. See, that's a female. See how the scoop is not so indented? Yeah, I'll pick the male up and show you. There we go. Can you see? <laughs> see how the male's got a nice big indent and kind of has like two little horns? There you go. The female has a little bit more rounder head, rounder exos, has more a little bit of a rounder exoskeleton, but let's put you down, there we go, and you can go down to a sweetie, there. Oh, I don't, this one not happy, she hears him. Yeah, it's okay, honey. Don't, 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 there we go. I won't keep them together for too long, um, especially if they can't burrow, because I'll start stressing each other out a little bit. Oops, lost this one. We got another female, yep. There we go. Oh, you're a big boy. Yeah, come on. There we go. Actually, he's pretty clean. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Can we look at the legs? Can I have a look at the legs? Have a quick check? Yeah? No, I don't see any mites. Which is pretty good. It's a good sign. But they, you know, the, the giant burrowing cockroaches are pretty, um, are pretty clean. So, most of the time they don't. Sometimes they might, but most of the time they don't. Got another female here. Yeah, hello, sweetheart. Yeah, good girl. Here you go. They actually arrived pretty fast, within two days, so I was pretty happy with that. Wasn't expecting them until tomorrow. But you know what? <laughs> Nothing arrives on the day I expect it. Come on. Here we go. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> How many did I order? What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's still another 6 more containers to open. Oh, that was lucky. No one's there. Oh, I've got a couple more. Another female. What's that? That's 12 now. There we go. Hello, it's okay. There you go, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, look at these little ones. <laughs> Hello. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. On my hand. You too. <laughs> there we go. Look at them. Aren't they just adorable? You guys are really noisy. Like, really, really noisy. <laughs> no, he's trying to bury. I must dig between the fingers. Where are you going? Oh, you're quick. Come on, there you go. And you. And you. I don't know why. 
You wouldn't think cockroaches would be adorable, but these ones are just adorable. <laughs> they really are. Um, how many you got in here? Just one? Just one. Hello. Just three? Just three? Yeah. You could slide out onto my hand. Actually, we'll get rid of that first. Slide out onto my hand. There you go. There, there you go. There. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're such fun. They're so adorable. I keep saying it, but they are. And I definitely recommend getting one if you want one. All right, let's get up close to these little ones. Let's get up a little closer. So we got oh, one, two. Three. No, oh, come on. Yeah, I know my hand's warm, isn't it? There you go. Oh, come on. Yeah. There you go. Just stunning. You know what? Maybe I should just look at the receipt. Yeah, 21! <laughs> Alright, these little ones need a little bit of rest, some water, and a little bit of apple. You want some apple? Who wants some apple? I bet you want some apple, don't you? Yeah, you look hungry. Um, plus, I reckon they're going to want to burrow and hide away because they are technically a more of a nocturnal animal and do not prefer the light. Well, as you know, most critters don't, they don't like the light. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to go get the housing for these ones ready, uh, get their food ready, uh, put them in, put them away into the darkness, and then, well, after that, I've got to then feed 400 baby slings. <laughs> so that's going to be Fun! Um, Orphologius too, so they're going to run out of those cups. Oh, no doubt they're going to run out of those cups. But yeah, so I'll house them up and I'll pretty much wrap this up here. But but thank you everybody for watching and I'll catch you next time. But please leave a comment, leave a like and subscribe down there. I'm pretty sure I've chosen the right corner. I don't know why I can never remember. Um, but yeah, have fun and uh, bye!